Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings. This is the second of my five minute reviews. It is now ten minutes to, so I better get started. What is the book? It is one that I hadn't heard of and I'd never heard of the author until my agent told me I should read it. Missing Presumed by Susie Steiner. Now, this starts off with a very realistic, particularly revolting potential situation. The sudden disappearance of somebody's daughter. She's not a young girl, she's in her twenties, but her boyfriend returning to their home discovers that the front door's not locked, her car's there, her car keys are there, the house keys are there, her passport hasn't disappeared, and there's some blood on the hall and a broken glass in the kitchen. So it seems fairly self-evident that there has been some sort of um, unpleasant, let's say, situation. So it's very clear that there has, has been some sort of incident, but nobody knows what. There's no body, there's no immediate evidence as to what could have happened to her, so the police start to get involved. Now, they have an immediate problem. The first thing they start looking at is the members of the family and to the horror of the police detectives in, in charge they discover that the father of the missing woman is actually a rather well-known celebrity doctor who treats the royal family. So there is going to be a lot of press interest obviously and in fact when they look for the alibi for the parents of the girl uh, the alibi is presented to them because they were having supper with the Home Secretary at the time. That makes the case a lot more difficult. But <clears throat> what makes this book a very good read is less the sort of shenanigans about politics and, and so on, and it's much more about the characterisation of the different people involved, in particular the police officer, the detective sergeant who's involved in investigating this case because she is a not a damaged character in the way that you normally expect, put it like that. Her problems are not that she's an alcoholic and she, all of the standard things that you get with most modern crime stories with police procedurals elements. This woman, uh, who's Detective Sergeant Manon Bradshaw, is cracking on towards 40. She hasn't got a family, she hasn't got a husband, she hasn't even got a boyfriend. She's going through all the stresses and strains of trying to figure out where to find a man. Not at work, because a police policewoman would find that a bit difficult to marry a, another copper, but she's going on the internet, she's doing all the different dating things that she can do to try to find a man. And it's the way that the writer interplays her relationships with the people that she's finding on the internet, together with her colleagues at work, together with the different people that she's having to investigate for this crime, that really brings the whole story together. I was asked to read it by my agent because of another project I'm doing, and she said, you need to write something a bit a bit more edgy. Um, and pre Missing Presumed, that's quite an edgy book. And I read it trying to find edginess. I didn't find that so much. I mean, it's no more edgy, I would say, than any of my books, Mad Monk of Gidley, Stickle Path Strangler, Tournament of Blood. The edginess comes from the fact that you're looking at the situation through the eyes of a group of different people. But she does it superbly well. Um, this is a really, really good read, and I'd thoroughly recommend it to anybody. No idea whether you've heard of Susie Steiner, I certainly hadn't, but I'm going to be looking up other books by her now. So that's it. That was about a four and a half minute review instead of a five minute. Can I say anything extra? Um, it's a really nice cover. What more can you say? Excellent book. Now, 
If you liked that, I'm going to be doing a five minute review every Tuesday, so do please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell alongside it, because apparently if you hit the bell alongside the subscribe button, then you're told every time a new video comes out. So if you do those two things and add any comments at the bottom, if you've got, if you've read this book and you'd like to comment on it, if you haven't read the book and you'd like to suggest other books that you'd like me to comment on, please put them down at the bottom. And apart from that, thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon, which will be on Thursday, in fact but I'll leave that until Thursday. Thanks very much for watching. Speak to you soon. Take care. Back to me old grey now. Cheers.